everyone, it's Tom Trush from RightWaySolutions.com with another quick tip for you. Today I'm going to give you a little bit of a challenge, and this challenge involves your sales pitch. Now I promise you this challenge isn't too difficult. What I want you to do is take a piece of paper and write down five reasons for contacting your prospects and current clients. Now here's the catch though, that purpose can't involve pitching your product or service. So are you ready? Go! Mm -hmm. Did you hear that voice inside your head? Now, I bet you that it questioned the logic of this exercise because after all, it's the goal of being in business to get more sales from your prospects and from your clients. Well, you know, I would argue, yes it is, but in some cases, it's, it's not always the purpose. Of course, if you contact your clients and, and prospects and immediately you just ask for a sale, well yeah, you'll get a couple, but by giving them some information of value, that will help first develop a relationship that will result in more sales and repeated sales. So I want to give you an example here. At least once a week, I get the following email, and it, it comes in through my website, and it says, get leads and sales from your website. Would you like to get your website on the first page of Google? All of our processes use the most, most ethical white hat search engine optimization techniques that will not get your website banned or penalized. Please reply and I will be happy to send you a proposal. In order for us to respond to your request for information, please include your company's website address, which is mandatory, and, our, and or your phone number. Now, there's quite a few things that are wrong with this email. Like I said, it comes through my website at least once a week. but. All it's doing is just asking for that quick sale. I have no idea who this company is. They've done nothing to establish credibility with me, to build trust. They haven't even shown me that they're capable of handling the, the request that they want me to take on this email. And it also sounds pretty desperate. So what I would invite you to do, especially if you're doing some email marketing, is contact your prospects and your current clients regularly but deliver value. Is there an article, a book, uh, a website that your content or that your contacts could read that would improve their lives? Are you aware of any tools that would benefit them? And geez, I mean, even you could, and, and this might get people uh, a little bit excited because they might not necessarily agree, but is a competitor doing something noteworthy that could help the people that you know, those people on your list? It's not a problem directing people to competitors, you know, if they're doing something good and it benefits your prospects, well, you'll tell them about it. The, the key here is delivering value because what you'll do is you'll trigger the law of reciprocity. Basically, by doing something for someone else, especially when it's unexpected, those people, they're going to feel compelled to give back to you. So just give that some thought the next time that you're pitching your products and services to your clients and your prospects. Now, I'll leave you with one quote. It was about five years ago. I heard Zig Ziglar speak at an event, and he gave us a quote. And that quote said, you can have anything you want if you just help enough other people get what they want. What great advice.